Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode, a brand new segment of the McComb Metal Corp Podcast. And boy, oh boy, do I got a good one in store for you today. It's one I'm super, super excited for. And once again, we're doing a live reaction because I think these live reactions are cool because like I get to hear it for the first time and you guys get to listen to it and watch it as I listen to it for the first time, which in my opinion is pretty darn cool. So if that entrance music didn't say anything at all, I think that you guys know what's coming here. Big day for metal. And so this is a brand new episode. And today we're going to talk about a, two brand new tracks that just dropped by the band Code Orange. If you guys don't know who Code Orange are, is, I don't even really know how to describe them. Um, I saw them in, I want to say it was 2021 on the Knotfest Roadshow when they opened for Slipknot. I was in the front row. And at that point, like, I knew, like, one song by them. And I was like, you know what? Like, I'm in front row for Slipknot. Like, Code Orange is going to be kind of cool. And at that moment, watching them live, I was like, this is a really good band. A very, very good band. They're fun. They're different, which I think is cool. And they're cool in their own ways. So, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, I'd say that Code Orange is like a a mix of, I want to say Slipknot. Definitely Slipknot. And like... Probably like a knock loose kind of thing, if that makes any sense. I don't really know how to describe them. They're kind of in their own genre, and like it's cool because they're like a very very metal band. They're a very metal band, and they have really cool they have really cool backing tracks, really cool vocals, and like it all sounds like you're almost like I'm trying to think of the word to say it, but like it feels like you're in like a trance and just like a p like pure metal is being thrown at you while you're listening to them. I'm not talking about like well because well, when I say metal, I'm not talking about like actual metal music. I'm talking about like y like there is somebody standing across from you and having metal shards in their hand and throwing metal at you. That is what Code Orange makes me feel. I don't know if that's for everybody else, but that's what they make me feel like. If that makes any sense Please, please back me up. If it doesn't make sense, I'm so sorry, but it makes total sense in my head. I'm really excited for this song. They dropped two new songs off of like a, it's like a single, um, or, or what do they call them, like a dual single? It's called, well, the first song is called, it's called Grooming My Replacement. The second song is called The Game. And I listened to about 12 seconds of it, and it sounds like Slipknot. Like, exact, like it sounds like a word for word. Like, they took a Slipknot track and they're like, all right. Let's make this. And I'm really excited for this track. A Code Orange is a band that, like, I can't listen to them, like, every second of every day. Like, they're not one of my favorite bands. And that's okay. But I can definitely listen to them from now and then. And it's 1.38 in the morning when I'm recording this. And it feels like a perfect time to do a Code Orange uh, video. Uh, so I ran a poll on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at McComb Metalcore. Please shoot me a follow. I'm trying to get more fans on there. And... I ran a poll saying, should I react to this? It got three yeses and zero noes. So we're doing it. So without further ado, I present to you, well, the first one is Grooming My Replacement by Code Orange. Let's listen and live react. This sounds exactly like the first Slipknot record. I feel like I'm about to listen to Eyeless or surfacing. I love the guitar and I love the guitar squeals. It, it, it feels like somebody's throwing metal shards at you. I can't explain it, but it makes so much sense in my head. So you feel like a this is really heavy. This is cool. I know exactly what it is. It feels like you're in a Saw movie. Every song they have feels like you're in a Saw movie. And this one makes perfect sense. It feels like there's like bees everywhere or flies or something. 
It's probably maggots, a knowing code orange. The fact that they sound like Slipknot too makes perfect sense. Wow. It's cool when bands do that where they have real heavy spells and then they get quiet for a second. It's just like a couple drum snares or something, like drum toms, and they got vocals going. It's kind of scary and it builds up. I'm, I'm hoping for something cool here. This song's heavy, so a uh, really heavy breakdown would be pretty radical. And the guitar, dude. Shout out Reba Myers. That sounds like Sid is doing is is working his turntables from Slipknot, dude. This feel like this feels exactly like a like the first Slipknot record, exactly like the first Slipknot record, and it's pretty darn cool, dare I say. Whoa, dude. 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 That was rad. That was rad. That rocked my world. There's another one, too. Wow. I don't know how they're going to follow that up. Shout out to Reba Myers on the guitar, everybody. <laughs> the way she makes the guitar squeal is so sick. That's so cool. And shout out to Jamie Morgan for the vocals on this track. He's really good at what he does. He just sounds angry all the time, and it's perfect for what he does in the band he plays in. That is phenomenal. Um, that was a track. Th that was an eye-opening moment. That might be my favorite Code Orange song I've ever heard. And uh, Swallowing, Swallowing the Rabbit Hole is a pretty darn good song. That was intense. It felt like a Slipknot song, um, which I think is pretty cool because that first... Because that first Slipknot record, in my opinion, and in the opinion of many others, I guarantee it, is their best album. I don't think that there's an, I don't think there's a second place, in my opinion, that's probably one of the greatest metal albums of all time, if not the greatest. And so for a song to come out and sound like that is a pretty darn good uh, a description and a darn good accolade. So shout out to Code Orange for that first track. There's another one, which I don't know if I'm ready for after that. That was really, really good, really heavy. Wow. Sh Shout out to Code Orange, man. Wow. Wow. That rocked my world. That might be my favorite Code Orange song of all time. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. There's another one, too, which I, I, at this point, I don't even know if I'm ready for it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it anyway. I'm going to hit play anyway because uh, why not? At this point, after that first one, I want another one. And it is 1.44 in the morning. And to be listening to Code Orange at 1.44 in the morning is a different type of feeling. Like, this is usually the time you, like, wind down. Or at, it's a it's a Wednesday night slash Thursday morning. It's the time you're asleep. But I wanted to get this video in and get it published for the morning for my fans, y'all. So shout out to my fans. Woo! And 
listening to Code Orange at 1.45 a.m. on a Thursday morning is a different type of vibe. This is usually when I'd be banging some Morgan Wallen or Zach Bryan to try and chill out, but my heart rate's getting going. Jeez. This is the game. I'm pretty sure these connect. The guitar squeals are so sick. Whew. Sorry, I need I need a breather. This is intense. Side note, side note, if there's ever a point where you want to listen to the song and you have headphones in, it's really cool. His voice is so perfect for this band, it's unreal. And these two songs really make me want to get in a pit and throw elbows. I don't know if that's anybody else, but uh, that's, that's definitely how I feel. I don't know what I'm being sent to right here. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Okay. Where am I? Help. Where did I just go for the last six minutes when I listen to these songs? Because I don't know where Code Orange has sent me, but um, all I got to say is, wow. <laughs> that was amazing. Those those might be the two best Code Orange songs I've ever heard. And like I said, that whole, that whole underneath album is pretty darn good. And I don't know where I just got sent to, but Code Orange just sent me to a different world. I feel like I'm in a Saw movie. I'm kind of looking around right now, making sure that there's no dude on a tricycle anywhere near me. Because, wow. Wow. It it feels like like they send you to a different world where you're terrified. Because, like, that whole time I... That whole time I was looking around, I was like, where? I was like, I'm making sure I'm still in my studio because I don't know where I just got sent because Code Orange just rocked my world. That is the definition of metal. And I don't like, I don't really even know what subgenre of metal they are. But wow. Wow. 
I'm so glad I get to live react to this on camera for my fans because that was that was a a moment. Wow. Wow. See, now those two songs in a club or like a small show with just a floor, those would be brutal pits. Like it's it's 1:50 in the morning once again, and that made me want to throw elbows at the wall and like I'm not in the mood to break an elbow or anything, but wow. Code Orange just rocked my world, dude. Oh, my God. Woo! Those are the two best Code Orange songs I've ever heard in my life. Those are heavy. They're disgusting. The guitar is nasty. The squeals are nasty. The drums are nasty. And the vocals are disgusting. Wow. Wow. Shout out Code Orange for these two songs. These are improbable. Like that whole time. Well, because I am a WWE fan. Or, okay, I shouldn't say fan. I'm a very blanket fan. If WrestleMania's on, I'll watch WrestleMania. I follow WWE on Instagram. I'm a very blanket fan. These two songs, because I know Code Orange has worked with Bray Wyatt in the past, these two songs would perfectly fit a Bray Wyatt entrance where you're terrified for your life. Where, I'm from Michigan. Where you're sitting. It's just you sitting in in Little Caesars Arena, and you're just hanging out watching some wrestling, the lights go uh, dim, and Code Orange hits, and Bray Wyatt walks out, I'd be fearing for my life. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was amazing. Shout out to Code Orange. I don't even know what else to say. Um, That was a phenomenal track. Absolutely phenomenal track. Well, it was two tracks, actually. Wow. I'm speechless. I'd give them both. A, I'd give them both a ten out of ten, and I I don't have to think twice. Not even close. Ten out of ten. Easy money. Great, great, great tracks. I suggest listening to them by yourself and on your own. Probably turn a light on because it does get kind of scary if you're listening to it alone. Um, and yeah, that's all I really got about Code Orange. Wow, they blew me away. Listen to Code Orange. Listen to Grooming the Replacement and the game. You will not be disappointed. If you're a metal fan, you will love this. If you're a Slipknot fan, you will love this. This is Slipknot reincarnated right now, and we're watching it happen right now. History does repeat itself. Slipknot is Code Orange. Code Orange is Slipknot. Boom. The end of, the, the end of story. Shout out to Code Orange. Thank you guys for listening to this episode. Thank you so much for being a part of this. And if you made it this far, then you're listening to me talk. If you didn't, you don't even know I'm saying this, so I'm speaking to nobody. But regardless, thank you so much for watching. I'm very, very excited. In 22 hours and 8 minutes, we're getting a new Avenged Sevenfold album. And I have never been so excited to do an episode in my life. I'm going to give you guys the episode of your life when I talk about a new Avenged Sevenfold album, A Life is But a Dream, that comes out in 22 hours and now 7 minutes. I'm so, so excited. I already know what song I'm going to live react to. And I already know because as soon as it drops... I'm going to listen to it, but I'm going to skip the one song I want to live react to because I already know it. And so I'm listening to the whole thing. I'm going to give an album review. And at the same time, I'm going to live react to Cosmic. Um, so if you're excited, so if you haven't listened to Cosmic by the time that, that episode drops, probably Friday morning, then you're going to listen to it with me. And if not, you're going to listen to it with somebody else. And if not, then you're just going to listen to it by itself because Avenged Sevenfold is the greatest band ever and so you're going to listen to that album and you're going to love it because Avenged Sevenfold is amazing so without further ado thank you guys for watching and that's all for today McCall Medical out